food, beer, entrees, wine, desserts, music, and more food all sound like the ingredients for another year of Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival. From culinary demonstrations to festival packages, WDW News Today is getting our knives and fork ready as we chow down to tell you everything you need to know for Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival 2017. Expanding for its longest run yet, the annual festival returns to Epcot for 75 consecutive days, beginning August 31st and running to November 13th. This event offers guests the opportunity to enjoy different food and beverages from all across the world. This is not a separated ticketed event, as it is offered with a standard park admission to Epcot. A single day ticket will start at $99 per person. We do recommend planning on attending the Food and Wine Festival either during the early afternoon or Monday through Friday, as the lines for marketplaces tend to get very long during the evening times as well as the weekends. With Epcot celebrating its 35th birthday this year, the Food and Wine Festival will have 35 different marketplaces to choose from. New booths being introduced this year include Active Eats, Coastal Eats, Flavors from Fire, and Light Lab, which can all be found in Future World, as well as the Almond Orchard hosted by Blue Diamond Almond Breeze. Old favorites making their return to the global marketplace for the first time since 2009 and 2010 include India, Spain, and Thailand. Other boots offered around the showcase include Farm Fresh, France, Hawaii, Islands of the Caribbean, Japan, and many more. Each booth will offer unique food and alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages that best represent each culture or the theme of that booth. Food and beverages vary in price and none is included with park admission. To enjoy the enormous selection of the Food and Wine Festival, Disney does offer a few festival packages to make it easier to indulge your appetite. You can purchase a mini gift card keychain with a minimum balance of $15. This can help you keep track with your spending as well as avoid the hassle of taking out your wallet every time you need to make a purchase. Guests can also load a $200 gift card to receive a special lanyard and gift card with an exclusive design. You can also purchase the tasting sampler. This is a great purchase for those who want to try a little bit of everything around the world showcase. The tasting sampler will cost you $65 plus tax and will give you 8 vouchers for either food or beverage items at any of the 35 global marketplace locations. These vouchers can be used during any day of the Food and Wine Festival and do not have to be used on the same day of purchase. Now if you do the math, it is a little over $8 per voucher. In order to get your full money's worth, we recommend buying items that are over $8.50 and by looking at the prices this year, that will be mostly alcoholic beverages. Also with your purchase of the tasting sampler, you will receive a limited edition Epcot International Food and Wine Festival trading pin featuring Remy from Ratatouille. Aside from food and drinks, the Food and Wine Festival is also known for their Eat to the Beat concert series, where different bands and artists will perform. The concert will be held at the American Gardens Theater at the American Pavilion. Showtimes are at 5.30 p.m., 6.45 p.m., and 8 p.m. every evening during the Food and Wine Festival. The concert series is part of your park admission and no separate ticket is required. New bands performing for the first time this year include the Hooters, Baja Men, Kenny G, and American Authors. Making their return to the stage are Boys to Men, Billy Ocean, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, and David Cook. We do recommend arriving early to get a good seat, especially for the 8 p.m. showtime where most people will attend the show. The full list of all performances can be found in the description box below. Disney does offer Eat to the Beat dining packages for those who want reserved seating for the concerts. The dining packages include an appetizer, entree, and dessert as well as a guaranteed seat for the Eat to the Beat concert that is held on the same day at any showtime. Prices do vary depending on which of the one of the 15 restaurants you choose from, but can range anywhere from $43 to $80 per person. If you are looking for a fun event for the kids, the Food and Wine Festival brings back Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak Scavenger Hunt. Guests will walk all across the park to find Remy and the ingredients he is holding. Once you find Remy, you put the corresponding sticker that matches where you found him. After finding all 15 hiding locations, you can take the completed map to any of the hide and squeak purchase locations where they will give you your prize, which is your choice of any one of four keychains available. Price is only $5.99 per map. 
The Festival Center is also a great place to be during the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. The Festival Center is the prime location to find all the food and wine merchandise, as well as the Brew Around the World and Taste Around the World merchandise collection. The Festival Center is also home of many demonstrations, such as the Back to the Basics sessions, that will help you discover new tips and tricks for your next meal. This session is held on the Spotlight stage every Friday through Sunday at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. They also have book and bottle signings from top culinary professionals, a seven-minute film showing the process of how grapes get transformed into wine, called Seasons of the Vine, a wine festival shop, and the chocolate experience from Bean to Bar, hosted by Giradelli. You can also experience a live taping of ABC's TV's The Chew, which is held on October 4th through the 6th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. For those looking for something a little more than just the food around the global marketplace, Disney does offer seminars and demonstrations located inside the Festival Center. You can become an international cheese whiz at the cheese seminars, being offered on select Saturdays for $89 per guest, or be a part of culinary demonstrations where you take lessons from a pro every day of the event for $17 per guest, or try to master the art of mixology in the Mix It, Make It, Celebrate It seminar held Monday through Thursdays for $49 per guest. You can also enjoy a glass of wine at the beverage seminars every day throughout the festival for $17 per guest, or meet your favorite chefs in the What's Cooking seminar on selects Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays for $129 per guest. Outside the festival center, Disney offers other specialty dining and pairing packages from a wide range of different restaurants around the world showcase. The full list of all pairings offered during the Food and Wine Festival can be found in the description box below. For annual pass holders, be sure to pick up all three exclusive Food and Wine Remy buttons that will be distributed throughout the event and remember to use your 20% off discount on merchandise and other items. The 22nd Epcot International Food and Wine Festival has prepared a full course meal for guests visiting Epcot. Whether you are tasting, drinking, or dancing around the world, this is everything you need to know before you go. For the latest Disney news, visit WDWNT.com.